Well, hello and welcome back to Viewpoint Christian Academy, where we seek to develop a biblical worldview into this generation of Christians. I'm Dr. Adam Rondo. It's time for another Viewpoint Devotion. So today I'd like to speak with you for just a couple minutes about being faithful in the little things too. Um, and I've got here some ropes with me that I want to use as an illustration. I've got a big rope, I've got a medium sized rope, and I've got a large rope. We're going to do the rope a dope today, huh? All right, I want to look at a passage or read and discuss a passage about how it talks about little things and how important even little things are. Right, so just hang on. I'm gonna do something with these ropes here, okay? Uh, and I, I, I will definitely do something with these ropes. So you just kind of hang in there and and pay attention. Uh, but the book of Song of Solomon, which I know is a love book, actually, um, and it's a, you know it's a book written between a husband and a wife, and it's all about romance and all that kind of stuff. And I says not a Valentine's message. Valentine's is coming later, right? But I do want to talk to you about one part of that ver of that book and in that in that book one of the verses is in um uh in the song of solomon it says take us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vines and the idea that's being communicated is there that were little things that were getting in the way causing big problems that the little things if they're not dealt with can cause what big problems um and i, I want to talk to you today about little things that if you don't take care of them down the road, for sure, they can cause you some super duper big problems. Super duper big problems. And again, we've got the little rope, the big rope, the, the small rope. You saw those all here, right? Now, um, Jesus said in Luke chapter 16, verse number 10, He that is faithful in little will be faithful in much, but he that's not faithful in little will not be faithful in much. In fact, he goes on in the next verse to tell us, uh, verse 11, Luke chapter 10, 16, Verse 11 tells us, if you're not faithful with the mammon of this world, who will entrust you the true riches of heaven? Meaning, if you expect God to give you insight into the scripture or insight into the word of God, then you have to show yourself to be faithful even with the things that you possess and own on this earth. Because God doesn't entrust treasure to careless people. He entrusts treasure to faithful people who will take care of those things. And so today I want to talk to you because, you know, you may look like, you may think, I've got such small responsibilities. My parents, they've got big responsibilities. They get cars and, and jobs and pay bills and, and all of these kind of things. It's true. Moms and dads have tons of responsibility. They have to make sure you got food. They have to make sure you've got clothing. They have to make sure you have a nice, dry, safe, warm place to be. They are providing a Christian education for you, which is not paid for by the taxpayer dollars. It's paid for by their dollars. They're sacrificing so you can get a godly education. So they have all of this responsibility that they have to meet. And a lot of times, young people look at those big responsibilities and think, I can't wait till I'm 18 and I can move out and take charge of my own life. And I can do this responsibility. I can do that responsibility. I can have this. I can do that. Nobody's going to tell me what I can, I can or cannot eat. Nobody's going to tell me when I go to bed, etc. And so on and so forth, right? Uh, the truth of the matter is you never get away from that kind of thing. You'll have a boss or you'll have some... Anyways, but, but that's not the point that I'm trying to make here. But I want you to understand that you do have important responsibilities that you need to show yourself faithful in right now. Whether it's getting up in the morning and getting going with your schoolwork, or whether it's making your bed and cleaning your room, fulfilling your responsibilities, whatever responsibilities that you have, you need to show yourself faithful in them. Because even though you look at what mom and dad are doing, you think to yourself, oh, that is such a huge, big responsibility. The truth of the matter is, <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not, it's not that it, it, it is a big responsibility, but it is important for you to understand that even though you have what seems like a smaller responsibility, right? Even though you have what seems to be something that is much less important, it doesn't really matter. Even though you have smaller responsibilities, you still have to show yourself faithful in those responsibilities. You still have to demonstrate that because why? Because you're not going to move on to the next, next big thing until you prove yourself 
faithful in the small thing. In fact, that's the way our schoolwork works, isn't it? You don't move on to the next unit until you've proven that you were faithful, that you mastered the material in the unit that you're on. You don't go beyond that quiz. You don't go beyond that test, right? You have to redo whatever because you have to be faithful in that one thing before you move on to the next because there's not a whole lot of point in moving on to the next thing if you don't understand this thing, right? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So look at the truth be told, okay? If the truth be told, it doesn't really matter whether you think what you've got going on is a just a tiny, small responsibility, or maybe you think and you look at somebody else and think, you know what? They have a bigger responsibility, those teenagers, those junior hires, or whether you look maybe at mom or dad <laughs> and they've got ginormous responsibilities, it doesn't matter. God wants us to be faithful even in the little things because when we show that we are faithful in the little things, He moves us on to bigger and better and bigger and better and allows us to progress and move forward. So what's the key today? Be faithful. Hey, I hope that blessed you. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. We'll talk to you again soon. God bless. Have a great day.